Hey everyone, today we are going to be doing a live stream. We haven't done this in a while. Hello. So hello everyone. It has been uh, it has been so long that uh, we didn't remember how to do this. So Yeah, we forgot what cables go where, <laughs> where do we plug this in, what do we plug that in. And yeah. then when we plugged it all in, it was black. So <laughs> we had to start over. But we figured it out and we're only about two minutes late, so that's not bad. Yeah, so we're here. We're here. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, especially on such a last minute notice. We were just kind of like, we're doing this in 30 minutes, so uh, come hang out. The four o'clock football game just, or the one o'clock football game just ended, so we figured now oh, is the time right? to stream. Yes. <laughs> so, so today we are going to be just showcasing a couple of fillers. It has been a long time since we've done our last filler Friday. We're kind of on a, a little bit of a hiatus. So um, today is kind of a, a fun one because we have a couple of true fillers this time. True fillers this yeah, time. Yeah, we usually try to like find a game that's sometimes a little bit too long and call it a filler. Yeah, we like a 50 <laughs> minute filler. I don't know why we do that. But this is Space Battle Lunchtime, the card game. Yes. Monique, tell us more about Space but first, Battle Lunchtime card game. I just wanted to say hello to everybody who's here. We're so rude. We should have done that first. Hi, we have Ruel, I see Lord of the Board, we have Lucho AB, this is so nice, it's so <laughs> nice for you all to join us on such last uh, minute notice. Short Dean, notice. hi, how are you all doing, how was your weekend, or how has your weekend been, or have you been doing anything new lately I guess? The year is almost over, Almost over, yeah. which is kind of exciting. <laughs> kind of exciting, yeah. Uh, but yes, we are going to be playing, uh, first this is Space Battle Lunchtime. Card so, game. It says specifically card yes, game. Yes, card game. So both of the games that we're playing today are card games. They're pu published by Renegade Game Studios and also by Oni Press. And yep. so if you're not familiar with Oni Press Publishing, they are a comic book publishing company. Yeah. And this game is by Daniel Solis. So I want to give a shout out to him. Yeah. So uh, they are a comic book company, which is fun because the themes of these games are from those kind those of... Those comics. Um, yeah, I forgot what they're called. Series? Series, yeah, maybe? Series, yeah. So this is a game that is uh, modeled after a comic or graphic novel called Space Battle Lunchtime. And I, I haven't read it, but now I desperately want to because <laughs> the cards and everything that happens in it is so cute. Uh, I believe we are chefs in space. Yes. And we are going to be trying to impress the judges. So let's change the view here so that you can kind of get a look at what's on the table. Perfect. So this is, oh no. Dean is, is home with a sore ankle. That's I'm sorry to hear that. Brian just put up their tree nice. and the lights. That's We're supposed fun. to do that today. That... Ruel took two naps. <laughs> two. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, sorry. I just wanted to say hello. Okay, so this is kind of how the, the game is set up on the table. Uh, there's a lot of cards and a lot of stuff, but just to kind of show you around, we are playing as different chefs from the series or from the, the graphic novels. I am Chef Olin. Okay. And you and are? I am Chef Chef, <laughs> Chef Neptunia. Well, wonderful. And so on the table, we have three judges, and the judges vary uh, from game to game, but um, they kind of give you these like powers that you that you can do once you serve dishes, because underneath them are going to be a slew of dishes that are come out that are going to come out, mm -hmm. and our job is to make these dishes by fulfilling them with our ingredients cards that show the different kinds of uh, combinations. If you can see here, there are circles that are that are colorful. And they're supposed to, to symbolize the different kinds of flavors that you can cook with in this game. Right. So, uh, like, the, chick the kitchen nuggets, sorry, uh, takes three of these purple circles and one of the blue. Yep. The liquefied nebulons <laughs> are three green and one yellow. And you're going to see these different combinations of flavors on the flavor card cards, which come up over here. This is considered the larder. Mm -hmm. And that's where you can steal and buy more of these ingredients. And so... Naveen and I both start the game with two starter cards of ingredient cards. Yep. And on your turn, so the object of the game, um, like I was mentioning, you're going to be fulfilling these dishes, but the object of the game is to get 21 points. Yes. So first to 21 wins, and everybody plays an even number of, of uh, turns. And so on your turn, you can do one of three things. The first thing that you can do is you can steal from the larder, which is here. And that just allows you to take one of the flavor cards into your hand. You do have a max hand size um, limit cards. of seven cards. Yep. So if ever you draw more than that, you just discard down to seven at the end of your turn. You, you can, can, When you steal, you can either take from the face up or the top deck. Yes. Right? And this always refills at the end of your turn. 
So that is one type of action. If you don't want to steal, you can buy, and buying is interesting. So in order to buy from the larder, you're going to discard one of the cards from your hand. But just to show an example, if I had this in my hand, I can spend this and say I'm going to purchase cards, and now I can take up to three cards from the larder. It's one card per symbol that was on the card that you discarded. Yep, exactly. But when you buy a card from the larder, you cannot buy from the top of the deck. You're limited to whatever is actually in on the menu. Yep, right? exactly. And uh, this does not refill until the end of your turn. Yes. And so um, the final type of action you can take on your turn is, of course, serving a dish. And so uh, to do this, you're going to discard the required number of cards from your hand. But the thing that's kind of interesting about this game is you don't have to necessarily meet the exact uh, denominations as what is showing on the card. Yep. Because there are actually three different levels of rewards. There's a bronze, silver, and gold. And so if you discard the exact number and color of these symbols uh, using your cards, then you take it and you get to flip it to this side, which is the gold side, and it's going to be worth the most number of points. In addition, you get to take one of the judge actions that is kind of like tech treeing up above. So if I were to satisfy the reconstituted land gull, <laughs> then I get to do the action, which this judge right. lets me do, which is to serve in another another dish. Because you can only serve one dish right. on your turn. Land gull. That's the, good. It's a seagull. I like it. But it's land gull. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so that you can do that when you when you satisfy a dish exactly right. Perfect, yeah. Uh, and if you satisfy like the liquefied nebulons, you have to pick one between these two judges. You don't get to do both. Um, if you satisfy it by by discarding the exact flavors, but not necessarily the same amounts. So in this example, if I were to discard uh, cards that only have one purple and one green. Or two purple, one green, but Any just combination, not perfect. Yeah. As long as I have purple and green, then I get to take it still. Um, I would only get to get it for the silver reward, which is just two points and no judge benefit. Yeah, you can only get the benefit of the judges if you did a perfect match for a gold. Yes. Oh, the question is, what is the player count on this? Uh, this is two, four or five? Two five. to five. Yeah, two to five. Two to five, yeah. So you can play this at five, which I was looking through them, and there are five of these these chefs. So yeah. Everybody gets a different chef, which we'll discuss what the purpose of that is in a second. Uh, yes, it must have been extremely fun coming up with these dish mm. names. Um, yeah, the reconstructed, co reconstituted land goal is probably my favorite so far right here. Yes, and just off of these names alone, it really makes me want to read the graphic novel. Yeah, because so. you know it's probably funny. Good job. Uh, and then the last way, the last uh, type of trophy is the bronze award. And and with that, you have to turn in the exact amount of ingredients, just any flavors. So I yeah, can literally just... turn in any four uh, cir circle, circle ingredients. ingredients yeah. And some of these cards have like three, right? So I can turn in all three. I can turn in one card that would satisfy three flavors, yep. right? Exactly. So it, any... It, so yeah, for bronze, it doesn't matter the color. It's just the quantity of circles is what you need. Yes. And that is going to be way. the least number of points, but it still gets you something, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And so the last thing before we begin is uh, each of us has a chef and the purpose of the chef is there's an asymmetric um, ability-ish. And so what mine does, it, it says if I serve a sour dish, which is a dish that requires the green symbol, then I get to flip my spatula to its bonus side. And so now um, on my turn, I can flip this back over to just take one of the judge effects. Yep. I could only flip over this token once on my turn. Yes. So if I activated it, now I can't spend it. In, this, in the turn you acquire it, you cannot use it. Mm -hmm. So you acquire it one turn, then any turn after that, you can then use it and that's it. Right, so that is the, the spatula. So yours is for sour, mine is for bitter. So anytime you see me turning in ingredients uh, of blue type, mm -hmm. then that means I get to activate my spatula. Yes, yes, yes. That's me. And so that is the entire game. Whenever somebody hits 21 points, the game will end. So it's, it's pretty quick. Uh, this is the start player marker. Look how cute this thing yes. is, right? <laughs> uh, because it's Naveen's birthday tomorrow, would you like yes. to go first? I'll take it. All right. It is you. First dibs. <laughs> no problem. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to tell them about the judges before we get started. Oh, yes, that's right. By the <laughs> way, hello. Case. Hello, Hello everyone. again, everybody. Hi, kids splaining. Oh, my gosh. Oh, hey. The kids splaining. They're doing a giveaway for what day? Today 12 is days the, of Christmas. What are, you, are you guys on your fifth day? They're about sixth halfway day? through. So halfway? if anybody wants to, to try to win some games, head over to their channel. And even if you don't want to win any games, head over head to their over. channel anyway, because they make really awesome content. Fantastic, fantastic production and super, super adorable, funny, and uh, very, very mature kids. So, yeah. Okay, let's talk about the judges. Have you talked <laughs> about the judges yet? No. Okay, we have a judge critic bot. 
Uh, if you satisfy <laughs> a judge critic bot, you upgrade a dish in your score pile. So, like Monique was saying, if you get a silver or bronze, if in the future you're able to satisfy this judge, you can then turn that silver eventually into a gold. Yep. Which is good. So, again, the point is to get 21 points. Uh, the next one is Judge Goops. <laughs> this guy. And uh, what you're trying to do, or what you do, is you get to buy from the larder. So, when you buy again, you have to spend one of your cards and then you get to buy from the larder. Correct. Pretty good. Yep. And then uh, Judge Gatorax is you get to serve a second dish. So, that's pretty good. If you, if you have combos and you can put them all together. Very cool. All right. And that is. That's everybody saying happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. So what are you going to do first? Are you going to, uh, uh, are you going to well, fulfill a dish? We I have these starting cards here, but. We'll not be doing that, but I am going to steal. So steal means I can take from the larder, but only one card. And I'm going to steal this two savory. Interesting. That's, that's it for me. Okay. The two purples. I wonder two what you're purples. working on. Okay. Right, your so turn. these aren't. The most fantastic combination. So these are uh, ores. It's sour or bitter here. Uh, you don't get two. So when you use this card to buy, mm -hmm. you only use it for one, not two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it's green or yellow. Ha. Huh. Mm. I'm going to steal that card. Yeah, it's not bad. That's not, uh, that's not okay. bad. Standard opening move, Monique. <laughs> All right. Oh, in Portugal. Oh, that's nice. Mar Marcelino... A Carmo. He said I would love to go to Portugal. Yeah, Portugal. Oh, man. Every photo that we've seen is like, is this place real? It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's right? so beautiful. But they said it's your birthday there already. Oh. So happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> okay, what are you going to do? Um, I should probably acquire more things. Oh, Lucho AB says, I'll bring the reconstituted land goal for the party. Ooh, I would love to see, Let's see it. what that would look like in real life. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the three spicy. I'm going to steal it. You're stealing? I'm stealing it so I can then use it for purchasing. That's okay. What I'm thinking. Um, well, I'm just gonna steal this. All right. And. Okay, we're just we're just kind of building up our our arsenal here. It's kind of what it looks like. Yeah. Hmm. Gabby. How oh, nice. Ah, uh, Gabby, say hi from Costa Rica. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. Gabby is one of my. Gabby has one of my favorite um, Instagram channels. I believe it's Alice mm -hmm. Plays Board Games. So check her out on, on Instagram. Very, very, very fun uh, videos. All right, I'm going to steal this two sour. We're sorry, we're just stealing a bunch of cards. We're just trying to build up. Hi, Chris. All right, there we go. Okay, well, I'm going to serve a dish. All right, it's time. Uh, I'm going to go and, and, you know, speaking of the reconstituted land goal. Are you going to get it out of here? Two purples. Here's a third purple and the green. Nice. So I did the exact gold. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to discard them here. Yeah. So I did the gold, which is going to come to me for as four gold. points. Yep, as gold. Yep. And I served a green, so I'm going to be able to flip over my spatula for future use. And technically, I can serve another dish. <laughs> I didn't plan properly for that. Foolish. So I can't. <laughs> That's okay. that. Uh, we have a new dish, which is powdered crispy. Oh my gosh, that needs a lot of things. Uh, ooh. <laughs> That's that's intense, but the gold uh, points is five. So Nice. Well, I'm going to take this card then. I might be able to do something about that. So I have six cards total. I, I did a steal. Now it's your turn. You stole? I stole. Okay. Uh, Dean, by the way, says hello, aloha from Hawaii. Ooh. They are back in time. Back in time. Right? They're even It's like this hour didn't even than, exist. Yeah. Like, this isn't even <laughs> happening to you. We're very jealous, yeah. by the way. It's probably beautiful over there. Okay. So I should probably buy some ingredients. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to discard my... My card here, I'm going to buy, and it's going to allow me to buy two different cards because it's two ingredients on there. Okay. And so I think I will purchase the this card and this card. Okay. I'm not so trying to give away which dish I'm going to be serving. You got some options. Okay, <laughs> so it's so fortunate that this came out. So I'm going to go ahead and turn them all in. Two green, two yellow, and one red. What? For a perfect gold powdered crispy. You you <laughs> you just had that? You just like had that. I worked towards it. Hand? I worked towards it. <laughs> okay, so five so points. So we totally didn't anticipate this, but um just now that I have five points, we're pretty zoomed in here. So Oh I know. Yeah, so and Monique has four, I have five. We'll just kinda <laughs> tell you as we go along. Can you serve another dish? Uh I probably can. Let's see. It is two forty six PM. Wow. Okay. That's I'm kinda jealous that you still have that much time in your day. I will serve another dish. It's gonna be a silver kitchen nuggets and that's because i have purple and blue but not in the right quantities you yes you're me. new well no well good job 
I work towards this. You okay, did. So now I have a total of seven points. So I'm, I'm one third of the way there. Uh, okay, so we've got Choco Gems. That also requires a lot of ingredients. And we have Chicken Ish. <laughs> <laughs> chicken Ish, nice. Uh, by the way, I get to flip this over because I use bitter nice. in my dish. By the way, Kids Plating says they have this game but haven't played it yet. Oh, I nice. would love to watch a playthrough <laughs> of those two boys playing this game. Yeah. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Their first playthrough, too, when they're first reading all the cards. I and would all sit that. there with some popcorn. Yeah. That would be hilarious. All right, so we are first going to use our spatula okay. to upgrade a dish. Oh, no, what am I doing? <laughs> it's already you gold. have a gold. Yeah, you can't upgrade gold. <laughs> Never mind. Um, but it's an idea. So now that you took the thing that I needed, mm -hmm. then I'm just going to steal. And I'm going to steal... No. No? Actually, I'm going to discard this. And I'm going to buy so you're buying. Okay. these two. We're blue. buying. You need a lot of blue. Uh, I need... Green, huh? Potentially. Maybe. See. Back to you. Okay, back to me. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Happy birthday from Washington. Also, Naveen, your name gives me the best Princess and the Frog vibes. That's right. That is, um, I think that was one of the first questions I asked him when we first started dating. Yeah. <laughs> Naveen, like, from Princess and Princess the Frog? Like, yes, from that. <laughs> He'd never yeah. seen it at the time. So he's like, we're going to say yes. Right. It's like... <laughs> Does that give me brownie points? Is that a good thing? All right, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to steal this. All right. That's yours. Okay. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. So I'm going to steal a card that gives me a lot of different flavors yeah. so that I can exchange it to buy more multiple cards in right. the future. Oh, uh, I'm just going to take this three red right away. Okay. Bam. By the way, Thinker Themer is in the house. Oh, Thinker what time is it there? Yeah, what time is it in Australia? If Australia, you, right? If anybody is um, interested in here, I know I've, we've been talking about all these different content creators, but seriously, there are a lot of really excellent content creators in chat right now. Uh, Thinker Themer is one of our recent ones that we've fallen in love with, but they produce amazing content. I would love to hear like a podcast with those two because they are excellent. I recommend checking them out. Yep. Um, okay, my turn? Uh, yes. What did you... What have you left me with? You've been focusing on the chat. I'm just focusing on the game. I got I, I got seven points and I'm working on more. What am I doing <laughs> with my life? Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna I'm gonna do chicken ish. Chicken ish? You're taking it off the board, huh? I'm doing it, but I'm going to do silver. This is gonna be a huge waste of ingredients. Okay. But it's it needs Blue, purple, and green. So I have blue, purple, wow. and green in outrageous well, why, amounts. Why don't you hold back one of your greens? Ah, yes. Yeah, you, you didn't see that. Yeah. Yes. That's why I keep <laughs> you around. You. Yeah. <laughs> so I have these three. It's not in perfect um, amounts, and so I have to take it as silver. But fortunately, I had flipped my spatula to its bonus side uh, in the past, so I'm going to flip it over now to use its benefit of upgrading my dish in my score pile. So I'm upgrading chicken ish to gold, and now I have nine points. Okay, so score count is my five, or not, sorry, my seven to her nine. Yes. And Come on. Uh, here we go. Oh. Spiky Snaff Grabbler. Snaff, Snaff, yeah, Snaff Grabbler. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna steal this one right here. Oh, it's Monday at 11 a.m. in Australia. Mondays, case of the Mondays over there, huh? Case of the Mondays. Mondays. I, I would have to agree with that. Okay, so you did some stealing. Yeah, but I'm gonna use this before I, I wrap up my turn. I okay. meant to turn this silver into gold. So now the score is nine nine. Nine nine. Nine nine. We're creeping. Yep. Uh, so I see a lot of yellow here, which is actually not bad. Okay. So I'm going to buy some cards. I'm going to turn them in this card with two symbols to buy this card and this one. These cards are sweet because it gives you just like the one mm -hmm. flavor and gives you an option of two. Yeah. So I'm doing that and we're going. All right. Well, I'm going to be serving a dish, three yellow, and this is going to represent the one red for this one right over here. Spiky Snap Grabbler. Spiky Snap Grabbler. <laughs> that was calling your name? Yeah. Four, okay. So that gives me four gold. That's a uh, it's a perfect one. Uh, so it allows me to serve another dish. I might as well. Yeah, you might as well. If you can do anything in silver or bronze, that'll just get you like that much faster up. Hey, the Hexy Beast is in the house. Hi. Another awesome content creator as well. All right, this I'm gonna... is awesome. What Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to turn all these in just to have over five five ingredients of not the same. So it's just okay. going to be worth this two is bronze. Our first bronze. <laughs> and it's five flavors, none of which are necessarily the combination that nope. we need. 
but it's fine because it still fulfills the Choco Gems for the bronze Bronze, points. I'll take it. So, and then you can upgrade that later. Exactly. So how many points do you have now? Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 12, uh, was that 15? 15? Yeah, 15 points. Uh-oh. 15, we're going for 21. Okay, we have Ocular Fizztron. That sounds questionable. <laughs> and then we have the gel Gelatinous Cosmic Pyramid. <laughs> that sounds even more questionable, but that also takes a whole ton. A whole lot of things. Of ingredients. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Naveen. Mm. Just take points when you can. I know. You make it sound so easy. Okay, I'm just going to take this. Just okay. the one. I've stolen. All right. I have no cards, so I have to just take something. So I'll just take uh, this yellow, this double yellow. You did a double yellow? A double yellow. Yeah, it's nice to steal like the cards that have so many when you don't have any cards in your yeah, hand. Yeah, because then you can just turn them in for purchasing. For purchasing power. Purchasing. Okay, should I take that for purchasing power? Mm. I'm going to do it. I've got some right, some money in the you're bank. Working. You're working, I'm working. Uh, some flavors in hand. I'll take this one. I'll take the three. The one that just came out. Yeah. Oh, this is so sweet. Content creators support one another. Mm. Yes. Lord of the board, they... This is... What is the name of the game again? It is Space Battle Lunchtime. Space Battle Lunchtime. Card game. Card game, game and graphic novel. So, Space Battle Lunchtime, very, very cute theme. Probably one of my favorite themes in a filler this year. What's the difference between a comic and a graphic novel? I don't know okay. <laughs> if anybody... I feel like... Uh, I feel like comics are like... Um, ser like really long series, mm -hmm. like you know, Spider-Man or you so know like the a, Marvel. A graphic novels like they it has like four volumes and it's issues. done. Like yeah, nothing, I think yeah. I feel like graphic novels have an end. Like there's a large story arc and then it ends and then that's it. Mm -hmm. But I could be completely wrong um, about that. I have no because idea. then like The Walking Dead has like a ton of issues and so there's Why the Last Man and Why the Last Man is a graphic novel technically. I, I don't know. What about The Watchmen? That, that's a graphic novel. Watchmen right? I think yeah. is also a graphic, graphic novel. novel. Yeah. I'm not sure. If anybody knows the answer to that question, please please, please let us know. Let me know. Okay, so it's my turn. Yep. I am going to I'm gonna do the gelatinous cosmic pyramid. So it's two yellow, two red, and a purple. Oh okay. So I did something. Uh I, it's not green, so it's I don't green, get to yeah. flip over my thing, but this does come to me as gold. So now I'm at fourteen. And I can serve another dish. <gasps> I'm going to with with my I, I took this card so that I could use it to buy things, but I guess I'm going <laughs> to use it to serve the Ocular Fizztron at the bronze level. Yeah, because it, it, she turned in three blue and none of that requires blue, but it has three circles. Yes. So it's now 15, wait, 5, 10, 4, 15 points. 15 points, okay. To your... To my what? What is this? 4, to 6, 10, 15. 15. Oh, oh. 15, 15. 15, 15. You have cards in your hand. I do. We have raw glish with sauce in parentheses. <laughs> it wants you to know that there's sauce... <laughs> Raw gush. And then the flaming dinoid. <laughs> Don't know what a dinoid is. Dinoid. But now it is your turn. Ooh, I'm in trouble. Uh... Okay, so we have graphic novel is typically a contained story, but people also call trades a series of comics in the series graphic novels. Oh, so basically a collection of a story can be a graphic novel. That's okay. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, have you played T Dragon Society games yet? We've I've played the very very first one. I think you one. did, right? Yeah. Yeah, it came I'll out take a, this one. a couple years ago. Oh, you're stealing? Yeah, sorry. It's a two purple. Just for heads up. That one's a, another filler, true filler, and um, it has fantastic artwork. And then we have graphic novels are longer than comic books. Oh, okay, so I was wrong. Meaning each volume is longer? They contain uh, complete narratives, whether or not they are part of a larger series. Comic books contain excerpts of serialized narratives. Wow. That is quite the definition. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Okay. Um, okay. Sorry, it's my turn. I, don't I, have I any took cards. a two purple just while you were not paying attention. Okay. Kind of thing. Okay. I don't have any cards in my hand. Oh, okay. So this is unfortunate because if I steal any of these cards, <laughs> it's not going to give one. me any buying power. So I'm going to take off the top of the deck. Oh. Okay. You happy with that? I am. All right. I'm going to take. Uh, what graphic novels are people reading? I'm on volume two of March. Oh my gosh, I can go on and on I'm about graphic take novels. This one right here. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, these are where all the single ones are. Didn't you just read something recently, a comic or a graphic novel? What was the one? Yes. Now I don't remember what it's called, but that one kind of you changed really my life. You really enjoyed it. It's one that uh, Kellen from Board Game Barrage. Yeah, Kellen from Board Game Barrage uh, sent me this graphic novel actually, and it was just so like pff, my brain. Exploded. I can't remember what it's called, but if you're interested, message me and I'll, I'll yeah, find it. Yeah, you really enjoyed that one. I did. Yeah. It's very like a 
philosophical, talks about life and what happens after life and stuff. So it's really, really interesting. Uh, okay, I'm going to... I'm going to steal another card from the top of the deck. Top of the deck. Because there's not, not enough happy with what symbols you see, in huh? there. Hmm. <laughs> Where does manga fit into this? Okay, I'm going to take this one right here. Okay. I, I, it's this, sorry. I know you're not looking, so I took this. One sweet, one bitter. I believe you. Okay. Uh, somebody's asking how large our board game collection is. It's um, unmanageable at the moment. Yeah, it's it's for our comfort level. It's a little bit bigger. We have two calyxes. Yes. Two a five by five calyxes. Right, and, and then we have like full. some drawers with like where we stuff all of the small filler card games. Yeah. So we don't really like to keep like a really big collection. It's just kind of. Um, this year we haven't been able to go to conventions and that's typically where we unload them. Yep. Like we like to participate in math trades and uh, flea markets. Mm -hmm. So I would say probably a couple hundred. Yeah, maybe like 200 games. Yeah, yeah. it's not a nice, <laughs> it doesn't feel good to say that. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to take, uh, gosh, I'm going to steal again. Let's see yes. if we're going to get lucky here. All cool. right. All right. I think I'm going to wrap it up here, Monique. What? I think I'm going to wrap it up. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, no. All right. So the oh. uh, Flaming Dinoid requires two purple, one green, and two yellow. That's a perfect that for a five perfect. gold. Okay. And because I have satisfied Judge Gatorax, Judge Gatorax allows me to serve another dish. Wow. So this is out. Okay. And I have the Moon Pudding, which is... Three um, red You're gonna and get it one exact? blue, and that's exact. Wow. And, that's and this that. is what happens when uh, when I just talk, 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 talk. <laughs> I always win the streams because she's not focused. <laughs> okay, how many points do you have? Well, I was a starting player, so if you can go on a big turn right now. So you have 5, 10, 4, 8, 4, 8 12 plus... Two, oh, you have 22 points. So I have 5, 10, 15. I think I have 24 <laughs> points, but it's okay. Are you 24? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, well, we have one last turn. Well, I might as well just try to satisfy something. We have pan fried space bass. Nice. Wow. Eh, that sounds kind of good. And we have meat floss. That sounds disgusting. Meat floss. So we're going to go and. Okay, one, two, three, four. Is there anything that takes. Okay, I'm going to satisfy with four. Four symbols. Just four. We're going to get the pan fried space bass. Nice. Because that might be something I would be okay with eating. <laughs> and it's going to come to me as a bronze. For two points. Two points. So that is it. That's the game. That's the entire game. <laughs> Naveen won with 20, how many? 24. 24 points, and I won, if or I, I lost, right. sorry, with 5, 10, 4, 5. You're six, so used five. to saying, and I won with. <laughs> <laughs> I had 17 points very in the nice. end. Very nice. So very, very nice. That is Space battles, Battle Lunchtime. It is a true filler, very quick, very charming. Lighthearted. Kind of it kind of reminds me of this other filler game that we really, really uh, used to play a lot when we first started gaming called um, Just Desserts. Yep. If you're familiar with that game, that's another one of those, like, you draw cards and you try to fulfill the orders and you're just trying to get, like, a certain combination of customers. Yeah. So this game kind of reminds me of that, but this has more game to it, Yes, I feel. Yeah. yeah. Then that one, for sure. The other one is just kind like, of, like... More strategy get, yeah. and, like, you know, it's fun. Very, very cute. And so that is one of the that two games the that game. we wanted to show you today. The second game is another super cute... I think cute, you have it over there. Super super. <laughs> 17 points, but enjoy the chat. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. They're saying, good job. That's very fitting. It's Thank your birthday. You. Well, not yet, but... Well, somebody said they were in Portugal. That's true, in Portugal. Your birthday there. I did deserve it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My mom is in the Philippines, and she also she was always like, greets your us, birthday yeah, here. About 16 hours early. It's yeah. nice. So this Thank is you. the next game. This is kind of like a quick stream. We're just showing two fillers. Um, but this is another one with a very, very cute theme. It's called Gudetama, the tricky egg card game. So if you're not familiar with Gudetama, I think it's an egg. It is an egg, I, I believe. <laughs> yeah, well, it's yeah. called a tricky egg. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's like a lazy egg, right? I don't know if it's a cartoon. I know that it's definitely like a character that's on products because my sisters, they have Gudetama stuff. You know, yeah, maybe like it was socks. like a show or something. I, I don't really know much. I don't, I don't know either. Maybe if you know, let us know. <laughs> but this is another one that's published by uh, Renegade Games. A depressed egg. The egg is depressed? A depressed, oh, I guess, yeah. Look. Oh, that's sad. Oh. I didn't know that it was that... Uh... I'm assuming it's lighthearted? Yeah. Depression? I hope so. Well, it's cute. <laughs> it's very, very cute. cute. 
And so this is another one by Renegade Game Studios and Oni Press. Uh, it's another one of those theme games. And this is a trick-taking game, but it's different. It's very different, and I feel like this is more... If you're a, a, a player who really likes like hard trick-taking games, right? Mm -hmm. Like The Crew, or like... Then this might be a little bit too light for you. Yeah. But if you are somebody who likes to play like fillers with your family, or with um, people who don't really play a lot of games, and you want to introduce them to like trick-taking, this is perfect. Yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Because it's all numbers. And the way that you play cards is a little bit different. So Did you want to show them? We are going to show you around. Let's, let's switch the view. Yes, it is a Aspie Gamer Girl! Sorry, I'm just like, I'm fangirling right now. All these content creators who are here. Oh, I love, 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 love your channel. Love your channel. I'm uh, learning Spanish at the moment. She so. is. She's um, been Luna. practicing Spanish for, for over 100 days in a row. Yes. That's what I've been doing with Over my Over 100 team. days, yeah. So Luna from the Aspie Gamer Girl channel does a lot of tutorials in both Spanish and English. And um, she also has a, a Dotson. Yeah, that's Dante. right. Cute little Dotson. So really, 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 really love your channel. So thank you so much for putting out those videos. Okay, so this is uh, Guritama, the tricky card game, eggy, eggy card game. Mm -hmm. And so as you can see, they're all just numbers. Uh, yes, they are different colored backgrounds, but they're not necessarily suits. In yep. this type of trick-taking game, we're just paying attention to the numbers. And they're numbered uh, 1 through 12. So I believe you deal out... And this game can play anywhere seven from... 7 people? 2 to 7 players. Yeah. Oh, this is actually kind of neat. On the box, it has the complexity level on it. So this is actually saying that it's like a level one complexity rating. So yeah, that's kind of yeah. going along the lines of what we were saying. It's like a nice family weight uh, trick-taking game. Yeah, if, if your family doesn't know anything about trick-taking, this is probably the, the perfect intro trick-taking game. And perfect uh, like stocking stuffer for people who like Gudetama. That's true, yeah. So seven cards. Seven cards, okay. Mm -hmm. To each player. And then we, will, we shall see. What happens? Does anyone know how it is? Oh, somebody's saying, I read that this goes to seven players. It, yes, does, it does, yeah. We haven't had a, a chance to play it at seven. We, yeah. we did have a chance to play it at like... We played it at four? Four once. Yeah. And that was a very long time ago. And it was better than two. Yeah. I would say. I would say the more, the more players, the better. Right. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And so the way that it works is um, we're going to have Naveen go, go first since you won the last game. Sure. It's your birthday. <laughs> And yes. so uh, whoever leads the trick, so it's a standard trick-taking game in the sense that somebody is going to lead the trick. And uh, in this game, a, an entire round is seven tricks. Yes, so you're right. going to play yes. out your entire hand. Right. And so whatever card Naveen leads with, I am now going to be required to play a card that is of higher value, if I can. or Equal if, to or higher. E equal to or higher equal value. Equal to? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Okay. I'm pretty sure. So you go to a higher then. <laughs> yeah. And if I cannot, then I must play my lowest card. Yes. You must play your lowest card if you cannot provide a card that's equal to or greater than the card before you. Yes. And uh, and it's interesting. So there is a little bit of an honor system here, right? Like if you're playing with, with kids <laughs> yeah. who, like, yeah, you, you got to be able to, because there's, no really, there's no real way to tell if somebody was lying. So either <laughs> uh, equal to or higher than or lowest card. And so what happens is whoever played the highest card is going to lead the next trick. And you keep on playing like that, playing like that until the very, very last trick. Mm -hmm. And so um, whoever, I believe it's whoever played the highest card in the last trick must score the points of whatever card they played. Right. So if I end the last trick and I'm forced to end it with a, with a 14, then I score 14 points. Right. And the reason why that is, is because uh, you don't want to have points in this game. You want to have the lowest score. Lowest score wins, yep. So it's only that last round that actually scores you points. If somebody plays a 12, there are two special cards in the deck. Let me just verify so that we're not um, fibbing. Ah, the 14 is one of the special cards and it is the highest value. And so if somebody wins with a 14, then they must pick a different player to lead the next trick. And um, the other special card is the one, which is the lowest value. And so if somebody plays a one during the very last trick of the round, then everybody has to score, score card. the That's card right. that they played. That's right. Including the person who played the one. And so I believe you're supposed to play also to 21. But, you know, with these kinds of games, you can just kind of play to... Stop whenever you want. Yeah, stop yep. whenever you want. So we are going to try... Okay, you want me to lead? Yeah. All right, I will lead... Reminds me of a card game called Karma. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, Karma. Okay, I'm going to lead with a nine. 
With an oh. nice like upper mid range. With a nine. Yes. What? So either nine or higher. If you cannot do a nine or higher, then you must play with your lowest. Okay, ten. Ten. So you win that one, and now you lead. <laughs> it says, "Who's good at Tama? Not me." <laughs> Prove it. These are really cute. I don't think I've ever really read. Yeah, you're right. It says that one looks so sad. Oh my gosh, why is Gudetama so sad? That is the next question. Okay, so now I must lead. Okay. And I'm going to lead with an eight. Eight? Yes. I will join you with an eight. So I think that's me then. Are you sure it's equal to? Look it up. If not, okay, we'll start if it all over. If you're right, then you get ice cream. <laughs> Do we have player, terms, special cards, round. But turn, okay. Yeah, Naveen gets ice cream. <laughs> okay, so who you, you? I get to claim ice cream. Do you do? Do you? You must lead now. Oh, okay. It's because you play the last your eight. card. Let's go an eight. What? Another eight. Another eight. All right, I'm gonna go eleven. Okay. So now I lead. Uh, I have four cards here, so I have to make good use of them. I'm gonna go five. Okay, I'll go seven. Okay. So now you lead. Okay, I'll go seven. Okay, so I have to play my 11. Nice. Now I lead four. 12. Okay. So I have to play it, yeah. three. Boom. One. Wait, no, that's actually not good for me. <laughs> nice. So because she played a one at the very end, everybody scores their, their card. So I get three and she gets one. Had I played a two, well, actually that's not bad because if I had a higher card than that, then I would have had to score my card. Yeah, because unless you had a, a two... Yes. Then, then that would have been the only thing. So Naveen gets three points, right, and I get three one to point. Three one point. And so you're technically supposed to continue like this. So yeah. obviously at two, it's kind of like rapid fire uh, exchange forth, yeah. of, of hands. So let's do let's do one more. All right, why not? Um, and then kind of call it. Three ice cream cones. See that? Three ice cream cones. Three ice cream cones. <laughs> now you only get one. <laughs> three. My gosh. Yes, you all confirmed. What's that? The tie. Equal to or higher. Yeah. I know. I should. Talking Taco! Hi! <laughs> oh, this is so fun. I wish we were six, all gathered six, around seven. the table together. And the Hexy V says, um, Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. That, that would be so fun. We, we wish we could play this Ooh. game with all of you. I'm sure that would, you know, amp up the fun value yeah. by like a hundredfold. <laughs> all right, so. Who's yeah, going to go first? It's, it's interesting. This game, uh, for the most part, what happens when there's more players is your your hand starts to get compressed because you won't be able to have, you don't typically have cards that are high enough. So right. then you have to play your lowest. And then when it's your turn, you're trying to throw out your high cards because you want to be left with your low cards. Right. So your cards end up starting to get compressed. And then when it gets to the very end, you're trying to outthink your opponents of how right, can right. I toss in my lowest card at the very end. I feel like it definitely... Um, <clears throat> There's definitely like a push pull with the strategy. Like if if it's higher player counts, there's there's definitely a moment where you feel like you're you're pressed, you're forced to play your cards. Like yeah. sometimes you don't have a choice. Right, right. And so yeah, you're so trying tough. to claim control. And once you do have control, it's like okay, how then, am I going to do this to maintain? Then you put control? pressure on everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's what the game really calls for. All right. So uh, who goes first on? Uh, I think you Me? because you scored sure. the most. Okay. So I will play. Ooh, gonna I'm going to play a 10. Oh, that's the who's who's good at Tama, not me. Prove okay. it. Okay, so I will also play a 10. Okay, so then so you go. So I lead, probably, because uh, I play... Ties are, are the leader, yep. Yeah. Okay, we are going to play a 5. Don't rock the boat, or I'll leave. Okay, then I'll play a 7. Okay, please stop talking. <laughs> I'm trying to get my beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, he says, under a layer of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now you go. Okay, I'll go 11. Okay, so I'm forced to play that because 12. I have to play something higher. Right. So this one is, I think you're confused. This is my burger. <laughs> that is a really tall burger. <laughs> so now I have to lead. Yep. And I'm going to play my four. No one home. Please go away now. <laughs> really? <laughs> Buddha Tom is really, play 12. really, really mad. Okay. Okay. So now it goes back to you. We are three cards left here. 14. Okay, so Naveen played his 14, I cannot beat that, and so I have to play my lowest card. Okay. And now Naveen is supposed to choose, because it is the highest card in the deck, Naveen has to choose somebody else to go first, which is going to be I me. I choose you, Monique, yeah. So, I'm playing my two, shake or get oh, out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 14. <laughs> okay, but now I get to go first again. You get to go first again. Okay. 
So my final card is the one. One. <laughs> what? You had a one in your I hand? I had a one. So the score is now four to two. <laughs> four to two. Okay. So we're climbing yeah. really slowly. Real but slow. You get the basic gist of the we'll game. We'll say we played a four. We played to four. We played to four. You win. And it looks like Naveen <laughs> got there. So <laughs> I, I am victorious in Gudetama. You are. But that is pretty much the entire game. Um, like we said, it plays really quickly. It's very cute. That is Gudetama, the tricky egg card game. But that's pretty much everything we yep. have for today. It was It's a faster... Faster stream than usual. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, yes, Noel, yes. for the uh, egg pun. <laughs> but uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. I just want to say fine, uh, a final goodbye. Hi, is, Richmond. Is there anything we missed in the ah. comments before we sign off? I don't know. I tried to do I both. I saw three ice cream cones. Anything beyond that? Four ice cream cones, perhaps? I think that's it. Five. But all right. thank you all so cool. much Thanks for, for joining. This, is you. this has probably been the most fun that we've had. In the past two weeks. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> we did film a um, a playthrough today, so if you you know if you enjoy watching our playthroughs, then keep an eye out for that. We're hoping to put it out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, since you are all here, then we can kind of give a little spoiler just for you. Yeah. It it is. It's the Lost Ruins of Arnak. So we got a copy of it yeah. uh, about two weeks ago. We played it several times, and then we finally filmed it today. So. The goal is to have it out tomorrow. Yes. So if you want to check it out, if check I it out. can, if I can like get it all edited in mm -hmm. time, so yep. we'll see. Anyway, thank you cool. all again so much. Um, we really appreciate you all, and happy holidays. If we don't get to say that before the holidays, that's right. Yep. But again, thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye, have guys. a good rest of your weekend. Take care. Bye.